So one thing um, you might be interested in doing for, for this, in this example, this might be fine because this looks like, uh, actually maybe it isn't because if we look here, the Z axis is actually this way. So this is probably um, not oriented correctly. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is orient it correctly. And uh, we can actually go into an orthogonal view. I'm just gonna press one on my numpad and you'll see here now Z is the is facing upwards and we'll see now that this thing is actually totally just randomly in space. So we can go to um, workflow, model, and then we go to transform object and let's just go to rotate object. And then there's no real um, accuracy to this. We're just gonna go like that, I think. I mean, I can't even really tell what's going on here. This probably isn't right either. I'll, uh, I'm gonna go back to model, reset, transform. I'm just gonna try and figure out what's actually going on. Okay, so I'm looking at the underside of the model. So I kind of want, I want this to be facing upwards. I mean, fr frankly, I still really don't know what I'm looking at, to be honest, when I'm just looking at it like this. Maybe we can go to another view first. We'll press seven. So yeah, why, why is upwards here? Other than that, though, I mean, I think I think if the y-axis is fine pointing up, I'm just going to go to, uh, again, transform object, reset transform. I'm going to press 5. That's going to put me into orthogonal view or to ortho so I can see kind of what's going on. So, I mean, as long as it's snapped to an axis, so right, right now the y is up. And that's totally fine. So that's the, that's transform though. If you are interested though, if you do want to transform, uh, you can go to workflow. I think I just rotated it again. So I'm going to change it again. Workflow model, sorry, models right here. Transform object, move, scale, and rotate. And you'll have the little gumball that comes up. I'm just going to reset the transformation one more time. And I'm going to get out of the rotate thing. I just switched to the uh, selection tool because that's what we're going to talk about now. So there's a number of different ways you can uh, select things in this program. Um, you know, for instance, we don't want any of this, so we'll just get rid of that. Select it, press the delete button. Not really sure what this is. Looks like a tree below ground. So again, don't really want that, I don't think. So I'll go back into ortho, an ortho view. We can select it. We can also, there's a ton of different modes of selection, circle selection. You know, you kind of just can do this. Um, there's magic wand. Oops. Anyway, there's a number of different, there's a number of different selections. Here's free form selection. This might come in handy too. You know, we can just do something like that. Uh, some, another form of selection that I find very useful. Um, you know, if you're scanning stuff in, like, let's say there's a lot of water or, for instance, we know this blue is the sky, right? So we can go to tools, dense cloud, select points by color. We'll go to select, and then we can just go to pick screen color. It's kind of a lengthy process, to be honest. And then press OK. And we can just set our tolerance to whatever we like until we're happy with it. This is OK, but clearly it didn't get all the sky. So we go to tools. Dense cloud, select points by color. Let's just try 34 and see what it looks like. Um, and you're kind of just comparing what you're grabbing versus what you're not grabbing. So, I mean, this is still hasn't grabbed the sky and it's not grabbing any of the context that we actually want because it's a kind of outlier in terms of colors. So we'll do select points by color again. We can go up even higher. And there we go. Looks pretty good. So we'll just delete that because I don't think we really need that. And, you know, we could do more. We could do all this. This is kind of erroneous. But, I mean, for my aesthetic, I kind of want to just, like, leave it kind of messy. I just kind of like the idea of this being, like, a fragment thing. So I don't want it to be, you know, if we're doing some geological survey or something like that and we need this to be, you know, as accurate as possible, that's one thing. But we're kind of just here making cool things and kind of crit critiquing what the uh, the platform does and what the program does for us and so forth. And trying to get more familiar with it. So I think this is pretty good.